So I had hamsters when I was little, and I named them Lisa and Coco. I, I named Lisa after my imaginary friend Lisa. And I just named Coco because the hamster is like brownish, and uh, Coco was a lot more athletic. She would like hang on the bars of the cage, but like Lisa always seemed to be really lazy. Uh, my mom made sure they were both females so they wouldn't have any babies. So then one day I found out why Lisa was so lazy. It was because she was pregnant already when we got her at the store. So then um, one day I woke up and there were these like, there, there was this mound of like litter in the corner of the cage and there were like little red stuff on top of it. And I, I was like, oh my gosh, did they poop? In the <laughs> and then I realized it wasn't poop. They were little baby hamsters and they were like crawling around and I was so scared. Uh, I thought they were like worms or something. And the babies grew up and they had fur, so they were like tiny little miniature versions of Lisa. It was really cute. But then I couldn't take care of all of them, so I gave a few away to my cousin. But then a few years later, after all my hamsters had died, I got like fish, and uh, I had two fish, and one was a black fish and one's a white fish, and they were both females, so they wouldn't give birth. But then one day I woke up and the and there were like little black fishies in the tank. I was like, what happened? And then I realized the black fish was pregnant when I got her too. That was why she was so fat. Cause like I, I, I got her because she was really fat and I liked the fat fish. And then I realized that the black fish, which I named Marilyn, the white fish was Monroe. Cause I liked Marilyn Monroe. Um, I realized that the black fish had like started to eat her babies or, or I think that was what happened because like the babies were disappearing in the beginning there were like 16 little black dots in the water at the end there were like two and then um so then I removed her but then I realized there was another problem because there were like little fishy corks at the bottom of the tank now I was like oh my gosh what am I doing and I realized the fish food was too big for the babies to eat so they were starving so then the white fish died actually she was sucked into the thingy so then I took her out and it was very really sad. I cried a lot. I was like, please bring her back. And I wore like black morning clothes, but then like it got really hot and sweaty because it was in summer. So like I eventually gave the clothes up. If you like this video, hit that subscribe button and check out our other videos. And don't forget to leave us a comment. We want to hear from you. Connect with us on Instagram, Facebook, and also Twitter. Links in the description.